Welcome, Leo, to your beginning of the month reading for May. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Thank you, subscribers, for being here. And anyone new, thank you for being here. <clears throat> this is going to be for May 2nd through the 15th. Okay, let's see what's going on with you, Leo. Okay. Let's see, Leo. This is going to be your energy of what you are thinking and feeling. So, let's see what's going on. There it is. Eight of Pentacles. Looks like you are definitely focused, focused on something. Super, super duper focused. Let's see what you're so focused on. What is Leo so focused on, Spirit? Focused on the power, keeping your strength, keeping your power alive, <clears throat> being strong. The waiting game is upside down, which means, well, time is up, right? You don't have to wait around anymore. So whatever you were focused on, the timing is now. <clears throat> and that authority, you have the authority and the power now, okay? Because it looks like you were patiently waiting, but like I said, the waiting game is upside down, so you totally go get what you want right I can do this this is the solar uh, plexus this is I can okay so you were patiently waiting and you might still be patiently waiting because you now know that the time is now so it could be any time now <clears throat> that whatever you're focused on is coming towards you in the past, it's because you knew you had new beginnings with the universe, fitted new beginnings. Something that you had done in the old um, past, you were then walking into a new area, right? Because whatever it was in the past that you had walked out of, now this is the past from the past, right? So, so there was a time in your past that you walked out into a new beginning. And then this being a past, you are now taking into a new beginning again. So, <clears throat> okay, so in the past, you had gotten this new beginning, and you're like, okay. That's where the patience and planning started happening. And that's how you got into the waiting game, right, was waiting, waiting for this to happen. Going into solitude mode, waiting, I can see with the third eye shocker, I can see the patience and planning. I can see where I'm going in this new beginning. Because why? Because you were moving on from the old, what didn't serve you anymore. You were done with that chapter. That chapter was over. Okay, starting a new chapter. In the near future, you have spiritual union, recognition, and reward. Self-sacrifice and awareness. So, yes, this was, you know... This is what you're you're waiting for. So you might be waiting for a loved one to come back or waiting for them to change. Um, let's see what's going on. Clarify the past for us first. Let's go to the past and figure out how you got to the present. Clarify the past for me, please, Spirit. Yeah. In the past you had, you were faithful. You were faithful that you knew that new ch changes were coming within a relationship. So you were waiting. You knew this was all happening. <clears throat> Whatever was toxic is changing. The communication is also changing. Okay, you can see, like I said, here you have the high priestess sitting, right, with the third eye chakra. You can see exactly what's going on. This is why you went within in the solitude to wait for these changes to start occurring. Okay, <clears throat> so you're moving on. And there you are in your own essence, your own energy. You knew that things were happening. You were waiting for things to take control, take charge, and start moving. Okay, 
waiting for the hopes and the promises of this change, not having to be in the Nine of Swords, which, you know, keeping you up at night, giving you anxiety, making you worried. You didn't have to worry anymore because you were moving on from that energy knowing, okay, that this toxic, whatever was toxic in the relationship is changing. And it changed through what? Communication with the King of Swords. So now you're just patiently waiting, saying, okay, I know that this is all changing. I'm just waiting. Maybe you're waiting for this huge change. So here you have the strength again. The strength card is the power card. So now we're in the present. And yes, you're taking back the power, giving up all the strength. You're giving all the strength to this relationship, saying this is what's going to happen. The time is now. I'm getting my authority back. Okay. I'm getting my achievements. My achievements are coming towards me. I just still have to patiently wait. What are you patiently waiting for? Are you patiently waiting for a, a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces to come around to get their emotions back into perspective? Are you waiting for them to wake up? You know, maybe they've already woke up a little, but you're waiting for them to, what, get better waters? Waiting for them to come around, no matter what. Waiting for the, kind of like the tights to come in, right? <clears throat> this way, they're going to become calmer. <clears throat> You're seeing them become calmer. You're seeing them become more uh, comforting towards you. Maybe where they weren't comforting towards you before, and it was a little toxic, and you felt like this was a, you know, what is going on, arguments, whatever, is now more soothing with the Queen of, of Swords. And not only are they becoming more soothing and more comforting towards you, it makes you also feel more comfortable around them, not having to have the fighting. There it is. No more battling. And it says, I can over here with the solar plexus, and it is, I can receive re apologies. I can get offers of love. This person will come to me and apologize to me. Or they can accept my apologies now. Or they couldn't accept my apologies then. See it, how it resonates. It could, you know, be vice versa. Okay, but no matter what, because there's hope. Right, there's better hope going on now. And you feel that hope. And you know there's hope. And this is why it's giving you power. This is why it's giving your power back. And you're very focused. Huh. In the near future, you have the Two of Cups with the Two of Cups. So there is this beautiful union coming back together. Okay, you getting your rewards and your recognitions from this person now. Okay, like I said, where they were kind of all over the place and maybe not giving you any attention, they're now coming back to give the attention that you deserve, that you feel that you want. And this is going to kind of give you a nostalgic feeling because you're going to remember Right, you're going to remember when you used to have this before. So it's going to bring back all these old nostalgic feelings. Okay, not always just memories, but also feelings. The feelings of when they gave to you. Okay, when they, you know, were always around you. Not fighting, not arguing, not doing this or that, or bad communication. Okay, so you took a self-sacrifice over here and there was a self-sacrifice. Okay, with truth, truth and justice, with the peace offerings, with the Knight of Cups, all these peace offers, offerings coming in because of the truth coming out. And the truth is, is that they're offering these cups of love, this peace offering, these apologies. <clears throat> like I said, and if it's not um, them, it's you. Okay, to get back to your Ten of Pentacles because you are aware of the achievements this person and you have together with this ten of pentacles it's not just your achievements it's you the both of you what you give to each other i give five you give five and it equals ten so there's you know more balance going on and we know that too because it's sitting the reason we know the ten is both is because it's sitting on top of the justice. The justice is very balanced and very justified. The justice card is the Libra card. The Libra is a balance. 
It has to be balanced. And so when we're balancing, we're cutting in half. Okay, and that's why even in this picture, there's him and her, right? There's two people. I give 50-50, you give 50-50, and we're aware that when we do give, we end up with this beautiful love. Okay, but we can't have that beautiful love if there's not 50-50 here. And this is what you weren't getting before. So, yeah, and that's what it is, love. And now you can support each other in the way that you need to support each other by listening in the communications of the Aquarius, right, of the Aquarius card over here, the King of Swords. And some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Capricorn or, an, or a Libra. You have a lot of air up here. And over here is Gemini. So definitely someone is probably dealing either with water or air. doesn't have to be. I do have Gemini twice. So... <clears throat> could be anybody of course but um, definitely uh, like I said I do have a lot of fire and air up here for you guys in this reading here so but yeah you're supportive and so this way it makes the love grow okay so let's get another uh, let's get some angel cards so yeah that's what's going to happen is it's going to feel very balanced in the near future and you've been waiting and holding strong over here as this beautiful leo over here card of the power card and you've been very focused as it shows working very hard in this relationship okay so let's see what we have over here guys it says do not worry right no need to worry there's no need to worry, the angels say. Why? Why do you need to worry? Don't worry. So if you're still in this Nine of Swords energy, even over here, even though you have hope and you have all that stuff, doesn't mean in the back of your head you might not still have some worry, right? Some worry that even though I see him coming back and he is getting softer, smoother, more comforting towards me, um, you know, maybe a little even more compassionate towards me, um, don't put these fears in the back of your head. Okay? Because there's just no need for that because you're ready, right? You're ready. You're ready to see the changes. You're ready for this ultimate change. You both have done the work. And it looks, they're trying hard over here. So whatever has made them push away, they're actually coming back. So let's see what animal you need to be. Let's see animal you need to be is yeah the bat see through the illusions into the truth which is over here the illusions is is that staying in your nine of swords allowing negative thoughts to come through when they don't need to be there <clears throat> you know because you get so positive and then when something goes not quite right or it still doesn't feel quite right, then yes, you're going to start using your, you know, your imagination and your feelings are going to go wild. So that negative is going to try to push itself back in, telling you, oh, this will never happen. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Be the bat and see through all the negative and know. And you're going to do that anyways with the high priestess over here. You have so many high priestess. Don't allow that third eye to be um, darkened. Okay, by negative energies. Okay, just be the elephant and open yourself to the true abundance and just keep giving and giving because he or she is coming around. It's just very slow. Like I said, it's almost like they have to get their waters back together. <clears throat> so you know what? I'm going to do something I never did before here, Leo. I'm going to pull a card for your person and see what, what animal they are being. Kind of curious. What animal is Leo's love being this time? What animal are they being at this time? Mm. They're being a whale. Some of you might be dealing with the water sign. Um, it says they're being conscious 
conscious, uh, fully conscious beings, which is very interesting because it's coming up as the king of um, cups over here using that perceptive that he's having trying to get himself back through the waves, right? So actually it's very interesting that he would be come out as the well of a conscious being because that means that he's consciously trying to pull himself or herself back together and um, this is where the comforting is coming in as they consciously are aware of uh, the relationship that you guys are going through. So it makes me think that <clears throat> your person is completely fully conscious of this in which they may not have been fully conscious of it before. So that's very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. So, huh. Okay, let's see what the love romance cards have to say. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gestures. Just keep expressing your love. Yeah, there was some kind of deception or something going on here. Like I said, toxic behavior. It doesn't have to be 100% deception. It's just showing that toxic behavior going on. Okay, that pulling away. But yeah, this is, this for a lot of you, is a soulmate connection. So, you know, that's why it's very important. Okay for you and there's chemistry and then I'm going to pull one for your your guy over here too your guy or woman over here as well so they remember they're being the whale right now so let's see exactly what they're saying how are they feeling towards you trust they trust you and they're trying to make the effort to come back to you wow that's okay see Okay, so they, this person, whoever you're dealing with, I'm going to put them here, is the whale, and it's weird because, like I said, you could be dealing with a water slime, but it could be anybody, but they are conscious of what's going on around them, trying to get their waters back. They do trust you and trust this relationship, and they are definitely trying to make every effort that they can to make it right with you. Whether you, you know, and I think you do know that though. That's why you're holding on so tight and so focused on it. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, Leo, and that was your reading for the beginning of May. And I will see you guys at the chakra readings for those of you who enjoy the chakra. And <clears throat> otherwise, if you're not watching that, then I will see you at the mid-month readings and Love and peace to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.